What's up guys, welcome back here we are with a little bit of No Man's Sky So there's a couple of things I want to do One of the things or the main reasons we're actually playing a little bit of No Man's Sky again is I hear there might be a new update I'm hoping for an expedition Also, I want to test my sound I've been having some, some really bad sound on YouTube lately and I have no idea why So let me know, let me know how the sound sounds And this is my base, I'm kind of building the base here Look at this beautiful place. Yo, Nixa, what's up, man? How you doing? Let's quickly teleport back to my settlement. I see we got a little bit of a sentinel alert. Let's go there and go fight some sentinels quickly and get everybody calm. And then we'll see what's happening there. We'll go build some ships, do some pirateering, and the universe will be good. Heinrich! Hello, hello, hello! <laughs> How's things going? How's things going? Oh, hi, Rasa! What's up, buddy? Right, here we are. Alright, what's happening? Who's threatening my peeps? Quickly shoot these bad boys. And there's one over there. Okay. One over there. One over there. Got it. They have all been vanquished. Good. Just warm. Well, at least it's getting better. I can already feel it's getting better. Not that super hotness anymore. But the end of the month, we actually go into fall, what we call autumn. So it's definitely going to be getting better. Will you be pirating like the pirates in the 1800s? Eh, more like a space pirate, Nixa. More like a space pirate. Let me show you. There's a couple of ships that you have. Actual spaceships. And I do have a pirate dreadnought as well. This is my ship, but I'll, I'll show it to you in a couple of minutes. Look at that. Look at that thing. Very cool. Give me a few minutes. Let me just see what's going on here with my settlement. We'll quickly go and check out what's happening on my capital ship. And then we'll start. Yeah, I saw your messages. Nice, Rasa. Guess what's happening here at my... Oh, settlement. Got a, a new visitor. A stranger named Wurgek has announced their grand arrival and wishes to be conveyed to the overseer. They claim to have benefited from a great surplus and now share with local settlements as a way to share their good fortune. They present a vial of comet dust and smile. I feel this is a trap. I feel this is a trap. Let's let's take this vial of comet dust. Okay, everybody seems happy about that. Venus, what's up, buddy? How you doing? I saw you actually joined the server late last night, just as I was about to go off. How's your base and stuff and art going, Venus? How you doing? All right, now. Let's travel to... Let's travel to... Let's see... Your bases. Hmm. Let's travel to this one. Yeah, you spoke about Jormunger Rasa in the previous stream. Found a location to build a permanent base. Interesting stuff. Whereabouts did you find this location? Okay. 
let's turn a little bit towards the space station. See where that is? That's about over there. Let's go a bit closer. Then I'm going to deploy my capital pirate ship. here quickly Let's go a little bit this way ah yes my capital ship Nixa this is my my fleet <laughs> let me show you what that looks like that's my big ship, and all of those little ships are mine as well. Have you played this game, Nixa? Have you tried No Man's Sky? Let me show you what it looks like. I've actually done some upgrades and stuff to it. You can actually land on it too. Very cool. Howdy, howdy, howdy. What's up, Gofo? How are you doing, bud? Oh, you can actually see my ship and my stuff now. So this is some of my ships that I have. This is a living one, actually. This one's mine. I'm currently trying to upgrade that, but the process is extremely slow. Here's another one of my Sentinel ships. This one looks a bit different. But very cool. Apparently supposed to be one of the fastest ships in the game. I just couldn't do that yet. This is my elite ship. Looks very funky. And then we have another sentinel ship. This little fella over here. The very first sentinel ship ever made. How do you get sentinel ships? You have to find the crash sites, Gopo. If you join me, I can take you to one quickly. And go and show you. All right, this is my capital ship. Like here I can do missions and all kinds of stuff. Guys, I'm just quickly showing um, Nixa. And all of this you have to build. Here's my command centers for my for my fleet. Actually, have to dock them. These are my vault. These are my vaults. Here I've got like a, a scanner, a cell system. And look at how I've built this so far. Look at this. We got like a little cozy little fireplace over here, a little bar. Look at that. Got some little plants. Where the crew sleeps or take rest. <laughs> uh, that's funny. And then you actually go out here. And this is my deck. In here I've got all the plants. One four of each type actually. Four of each type. Just make sure that I got all of them. Yo Azema, what's up, what's up? Hey Azems, how you doing? Yeah, it's a bit we're back to a bit of an early stream. I wanted to taste my sound actually. And just hop back onto No Man's Sky and just check what's happening. Go do some quicksilver missions and just see what's going on. Now I'm just quickly showing Nix on my ship and how I've built it. Got all these guys over here who do all kinds of different things. And the refiners. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. All of this on a ship. And you have to build all of this. You don't get it like this. You have to like literally build it. Imagine having a ship like this, guys. Imagine having a ship like this. And then you can come and take a seat over here and just look at that view incredible ah. right let's quickly debrief my commanders so I can actually send them out again okay let's debrief these bad boys see what we get debrief 
so they you send these guys out on missions and then they go and they do it and then they come back with stuff or they get destroyed or get damaged or whatever the case might be ah while you're working well anytime go folk anytime man anytime buddy if you're online let me know i'll hop on and i'll uh take you to some of the sentinel ships so here we quickly end their missions yes 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 so it helps sending the right ships to the right missions and also every mission will have a star rating that'll tell you exactly how difficult that mission is like this one difficulty rating this mission was a two star out of five stars always try and match the stars or have one better i'll show you now i'm gonna show you now so if we do a mission here now with this bad boy oh buddy let's look at the potential missions so there's a combat patrol three stars okay let's assign some of my ships okay so first i want to take an organic vessel i want to send an organic vessel with because i'm trying to get specific upgrades for my organic ships It is organic. Send that one. And we'll send... Say this one. This one. Okay. So the difficulty rating is 3 stars up here. And my fleet rating that I'm sending is 5 stars. Bones Expedition. And then they, there they go. Next one, industrial expedition. Okay, so industrial, let's look at that, but let's see if we can find an organic one first. This one, this is organic one with 20 points and industrial. Then let's take another one. Let's take, let's send this pirate ship and let's send this one. Again, five stars, three stars. And that's how I do it, Gofo. That's how I do it. You can upgrade your capital ship, man. You can upgrade your capital ship. When you get a new one, it asks you to... Oh, wait. Are you... You're talking about upgrading, not building. Okay, okay. All right, I understand. Because if you're building on your ship, you can actually just transfer all the buildings the way it was. What is this? This is a balanced expedition. And what do we else have? We've got one more combat and one more trade. Let's do the combat one first. Let's do the combat one. Let's take this one, this one. That one, we'll send them out. A trade expedition. So that's the money one. Let's see if we've got any organic ones with good trading points let's take this one let's take i don't really have really ah oh, there that one's pretty good 31 and trade that's pretty good i'll send those out and then the last mission i have is a balanced one which means it could be anything organic vessel Let's see, let's put this one in. Give them some firepower and back up. That's it. And there we go. All have been deployed. Can you drive a capital ship? You can call it. So it'll go where you call it, but you can't you can't steer it. You can't drive it, no. But there's also missions where you can go and raid capital ships like this. The squadron, they help you whenever you fight. Then they actually uh, warp in, and then you fight as a team. So then you'll be five fighters fighting whatever it is you're fighting. So they're there just for backup. 
That's all they are there for. So if I go and I pick a fight now, let's do that. I'll show you quickly. And you'll see that they quickly jump in and then they they come and they help you. How much ammo did I take for the Rockwell boss, Rasa? It depends on your shotgun, man. It depends on your shotgun. If you've got like a lot of damage, you can take less ammo. But if you don't have such a great shotgun, you obviously need to take more. And if it's going to be only you. And are you doing it on Gamma, Beta, Alpha? I would say... If you're doing it on Alpha... And it's only you and you've got about a 300 damage shotgun take about 800 shotgun shells and take an assault rifle with you with about 300 bullets no you don't have to summon them they actually appear automatically and disappear automatically all right let's go pick a fight let's go pick a fight somewhere where can we go pick a fight? Oh, I want to show you guys this though. So this is now still my ship and my squadron. This is one of my ships. The SR1 Normandy. <laughs> For those of you who played Mass Effect. So I don't have my fleet with me now, but let me attack some of these guys. Okay, see, now my ships are going to spawn in. They're actually helping me shoot now. I can hear them, they're right next to me. So let's fly out. A little bit and then we do this see look at them they're shooting the enemy I'm not even shooting these are my ships fighting for me now now we are a squadron of four four five Once the enemy is gone, they, they it's going to disappear. Then they go back. That's it. Yes, okay, so we got new enemies incoming. But I'm just going to just outfly these bad boys. We're not even going to fight them. sound guys how's the sound how's the sound how's my sound is it sounding okay i know the spaceship is a bit loud we'll quickly go to uh one of those things actually i should call the anomaly that's what i should do holy crap that thing almost warped into me let's call the anomaly Yeah, these Sentinel ships, especially this one, the engine is a bit loud. I found that that's a No Man's Sky thing. All 
Alrighty then, let's quickly go check. So apparently, there's a new expedition coming and I'm looking really forward to it, man. This is a good game as well. At the moment, I think there's two games that I really enjoy a lot. It's Ark and it's this one. Let's go see if the new expedition's out yet. I doubt it. But we can always hope. Ah, uh, it's not... <laughs> it's not out yet. Okay, there was hoping. There was hoping. What's my sound like on here? Pinball sound. Maybe that's better now. You started the Omega and it seems like you can continue it? That's weird, the Omega mission should be over. Hunt dangerous pirates. Oh, we can do that. Yeah, we can definitely do that. Let's go get some pirates, boys. Let's go get some pirates. Where is this going to take me? Okay, so the pirate is over there. Yes, oh yeah, Ross, I did see it and I did answer you actually. Where is this pirate? Here they come. Ooh, I got something for you, buddy. Get melted. So is there any more? More. Quicksilver missions are... This one's actually nice. This one's actually nice. But man, in general, they are terrible. Especially those scanner ones. Okay, that's it. Now we can go back. How far are you with the Omega Expedition, Gofo? Oh man, I'm still quite far. Why did I end the boost? There we go.
You struggle to get the ship to turn? <laughs> I don't think that's your mouse sensitivity, man. That's your ship handling. You want to phase three? Nice. Your ship handling. Look at this. So my maneuverability is on 1,700. Hyperdrive, 1,400. Shield strength, 300. And my damage potential is 500. Maneuverability, this one over here, is the one that makes your ship to handle and fly better. And you upgrade that by doing these things, putting all these things into your ship. We should, uh, we should play a little bit together at some point. Oh, I'm in the wrong place, actually. Let's go to here normally. Then I can help you with some of these things. It should... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the ship you start out with is pretty crap. Yep, you have to upgrade it a lot. Yeah, man, I can help you with all of the one night. We should play together one night. Help you get a better ship. We'll upgrade your handling and your ship a little bit. We'll get you a better capital ship. It's one night, go for one night. Let me know when. I always say it's better to learn with someone. Myself and Tony have been figuring a lot of this stuff out. Yes, and Tony is really good with information. Holy crap. I'm like the cowboy. I win everything without a plan. Then there's Tony. Tony just gets like all the information and make a pretty good team. let's see let's hand in my reward complete mission boom mission completed quicksilver obtained okay those are all units and stuff we don't need that what's up Jobba? mr bacon man how you doing and there's these little figurines uh, let me show you these ones Artemis Apollo and Null and there's one more that you can buy and then you put them in your ship and they actually make your ship better as well yeah man anytime let me know let me know go for no problem buddy Let's speak to this guy he's gonna give me another scanner might actually use it every week this guy helios gives you a scanner and you can scan there we go emergency signal scanner and you can scan for a crashed capital ship and then you land on the derelict reaper or derelict ship actually it's not a reaper and you get upgrades for your ship like that catch you later go for have a good one thanks for stopping by man cheers bud You've got a DM for me in Discord? Java? What's that about, buddy? What you DMing me for? What you need? What's happening? Please tell me you're not stuck in Ark somewhere again. <laughs> Let's actually use it. Why are they giving me this cup sack? What does this mean? I need to go and sell some of my stuff in the inventory. Holy crap, a moly. Uh, ship. That's interesting. I don't see the little scanner. Ah, there it is. Get the server? You're laggy? What you mean? Oh, 
How's the sound today, Java? Is the sound a bit better? I've been playing around with the settings to try and fix it. Fix something that I didn't even break. You're saying Forglar is laggy? Mm, we'll have to check that out quickly. You know what? Let's do this. Alright, guys. What I'm gonna do is let's put to desktop quickly. Let me just quickly see what's going on. But I don't think the server is laggy. Venus, yeah. So Tony crashes at least once a day on, on Arc as well. The game is very resource hungry. They still have to optimize it a little bit better. It's one of those things. If you crash constantly, like every 5 minutes, 10 minutes, half an hour, then there's a problem. But like one crash a day, it's actually not so bad. No, it's actually, it's not your PC. Not the PC. No, the game needs to still be optimized a lot. Not your PC. It happens. Happens to everybody. Okay, well, Java, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but it's definitely not the server. There's no lag. Whatsoever. Nope. Very responsive, working 100%. Not the server, man. It's gotta be your internet, Java. Everything here is absolutely fine. Yeah, nothing wrong with the server, buddy. Nothing wrong with the server. <laughs> it's all good. I just always laugh. It's funny how it works, guys. And Java, no, no offense, don't take any offense. I've had a couple of people complain about different things, and it's always the server first, always. And then I think to myself, the server never discriminates. You can either get in, or no one is going to get in. And that's how it works. That's how it works. But everybody always thinks it's the server first. But it's all good. It's all good. Let's hop back into this. I want to show you guys what I'm planning to build. You know what I found what it is, Venus? It's normally updates most of the times. So I would say number one is updates. Either A, something needs to be updated, or B, something is updating and it's pulling your network down. And if it's not the updates, then there's something else wrong. But I found it's normally the updates and then someone's network. We're going to have to just redo this one quickly. 
Alright, there's the ship. Luckily, it didn't go away. Awesome. Let's see if I can get another cool. Oh, snap. That's not good. Why didn't it land? <laughs> Funny. There we go. Now it's landing. Yeah, it can still be. It can still be, Java. You can have a 300 gig network. If your router needs resetting, then it needs resetting, buddy. That's the thing. Every little router, as you play games and scroll and browse the internet and stuff, it actually keeps a little bit of information. And when that capacity gets full, you need to go and unplug the router. I do mine every week, every week. I unplug it for five or ten minutes, and then it, it's refreshed. Never! <laughs> yes, come on! That's how it works, man. Should guy, you should go and try and do it. Try and do it. So unplug it for five minutes. But like, unplug it. Unplug the power. Oops. Not just push the button. And then put it back in. You'll see, it feels much better. It's gonna feel faster. I'm just a simple carpenter. <laughs> That's good. Oh, man. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that, Venus. I actually like woodwork myself. I enjoy a bit of woodwork. I've done quite a few things. Pretty handy man myself, if I have to say so. In weld, I've got a thicknesser planer. When we actually moved here where I am now, installed my own little cabinets and stuff as well. Oh, how cool is that? We get module on the first try. Hard reset? Uh, is that what it's called? I don't think it's called hard reset. I could be wrong. I just call it unplugged. You know, like a band that goes and they sing? They're unplugged. That's the one. Okay, boys, I'm just gonna run through this straight all the way to the end. I just want to grab the upgrade and not worry so much about the rest of the stuff. But I do need... There it is. That's what I need. We need the log. Move to America. You'll get me a very good job. What's wrong with my current job? Why don't I just keep my current one? But yeah, man, I'd love to move to America. Getting there, that's the problem, though. I always joke and I say, it's easier for me to get a visa to Mexico. And it really is. If I want to apply for a visa to Mexico, it'll take me 24 hours and I'll get a visa for Mexico. Because obviously I'm going to have to go there by plane. And then to get on the plane, you need a visa. And then when I'm in Mexico, I can just cross the river. That seems pretty easy. Yeah, I have job. I'm just messing with you, man. Hence the joke of the band being unplugged. You never said quit streaming? Oh, so I'm gonna, you'll get me a job and I'll still be a streamer. Is that the plan? <laughs> okay, so that's the crew manifest. 
Nice. Now we can carry on. I need to get anything else. I can probably just run straight all the way to the end. I think so. Let's see if this works. Was googling a definitive definition? <laughs> and what did Google say? Did Google say it's called the hard reset? <laughs> ah, Java. Let's call it Bacon Unplugged. How does that sound? Okay, here we are at this machine. I will tell him the captain's deceased and he'll say yeah you're gonna be accepted as the new dead and then give me access to the captain's logs and those are the captain's logs then I can finally enter the last room and grab the upgrade That's it. Last room. I can actually just come and grab my upgrade. Fabricate technology. Boom. Activate this. Walk through it. I always suck at this. We can go. Go to my capital ship and see what upgrade we got. then done and dusted what did we get boys what did we get what did we get we got mining unit interesting What's up? How are you doing, Jay? How's things been going for you, man? Good to see you again. Okay, and then we need to just quickly go and sell the crew manifest and stuff like that. Tell that we are done with this. And then I want to show you guys what I've kind of been building. I'm building a base, slowly but surely. You're okay, just work. And now it's Scotland nowadays. You guys are going into... You guys going into spring soon, Jay? Here we are now. been snowing when do you actually have spring which month does your spring start and then we give him the crew manifest and we'll get later standing this guy is going to give us tainted metal which is nanites Ah, you guys are going to do Barcelona for the football tournament. Oh, that's pretty cool, man. Oh, 
Barcelona. You see, that's pretty cool. Very, very, very cool. Whenever someone says Barcelona, I always think about tennis first. I don't know why. Wait, let's sell some of the crap I have on me. Let's pick one of these guys and then we'll stall our stuff to one of them. Let's stall to this guy. Yo, buddy. Let's sell you some things. To trade. Sell. Alright, what do we got? I saw a whole bunch of stuff that I could sell. Uh sell that meaty wings mist couplers crystal fragments old nugget more meat chunks painted metal can go help can go there we go. We play a team from Spain and then an Irish team. I don't know anything. In, well, I call it soccer. I'm sorry about that. I call it soccer. You guys call it football. But uh, which one do you think is going to be the worst or the hardest team to play? I don't know anything about football or soccer. It's probably Spain, maybe? Faces. Go to bubbles. Ah man, I'll hold thumbs for you. I'll hold thumbs for you, Jay. I'll hold thumbs for you. We'll be holding thumbs for you and your boy. That's pretty cool, man. That's actually really cool. I don't know why I spawn at that one every time. It's my power generator over there. Might suck some power from it. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be something you will always remember. That's for sure though. Take lots of pictures, lots of videos, man. this again I don't think you will ever get to learn all the languages it's just impossible where's my base I should have a base here. <laughs> what happened to my base? Uh... Ah, there it is. Okay, I'm on the wrong side. So here's what I've put down so far. I'm kind of working on my foundations. This is what I got. How cool is this? No port, you can actually come and sit in and just pick out the scenery and... Oh, 
come down here we come down here and there's stairs down here should i put another stair here maybe we should maybe we should There we go. And you come down here. You're gonna get like a little entrance here. I still need to put the roof on it. And you're gonna come down here. And I've built a swimming pool. <laughs> An actual swimming pool. Any other games you've been planning coming up? Um, Jade, there's one that I'm really looking forward to called Light No Fire. But there's no date yet for that one. I'm not sure what the date is on that one. I'm also keeping my eye on Mass Effect. I'm a big Mass Effect fan. Huge Mass Effect fan. Looking at that, also not out yet. In the meantime, this game has got updates it's coming out. We've got Ark. Ark uh, has got Scorch Earth coming out in three or four days, which means we'll be getting Wavens. There's also that map is also kind of upgrading and doing all kinds of things. So, probably my old usual ones for now. Nice pool ski. Yeah, I thought so too. Look at that. Very nice pool. And you'll notice that these are stone stairs, unlike those ones, because a pool needs stone stairs. Yeah, and that's what I'm busy with on No Man's Sky, guys. Building my house over here. I'm going to build like a cool place here. I think it's going to look pretty cool. We'll have like a little building here. And then you go down to that building over there as well. Catch you later, Jay. Have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping by, bud. You bobak. Yeah, it's looking pretty cool. And when the new game comes out, dust it. Yeah, I don't know, man. If it's like, if Light No Fire actually comes out, that's going to take a while. It's one of those games that, it's like this. There are people that play this game forever and ever and ever and just never stops, you know? Let's look at some of these other guys' bases. Let's go check one or two of them out and see what they look like. See what we can find. Could be a nice one. Right there. Right there. Right there. Yo, these guys have got loads of freighters. So many new people playing the game, it's incredible actually. Makes me wonder how many people have visited my base. Right there. Right there. Mm, 
Uh, let's see. I'm looking for something specific. And I'm not seeing it. I wonder if it could be that one we saw first there. Let's go back to that one. This one? I did this and got killed? <laughs> yeah, you need to make sure your PvP is off. I actually did that to a few people. They might have seen it. So you go to... I'll show you now. You go to options, general, oh, network, options, network, uh, allow PvP, no one, put that off. Now we need to see where is this ship that this guy is talking about. I don't even know if there is one. well. There's a base here as well, so there might be. See, what does it say? Communications. Communications. What is this? Geek Village. Oh, this guy's got. Yo, this is a terrible planet to have a settlement on. Communications. Communications. No Java, when when am I supposed to check the UFC clip? Communications What's that? Safe beacon, let's go there. Let's go see what, what's there. So that was for... Okay. Alright. I see. Yo, Max! How you doing, Max? How's things going, Max? Yeah, man. It's good to see you. Yeah, but I've seen that before. Yeah, but Connor, he sits in it and then he goes, Who the fuck is that? I've seen that one, yeah. Connor, he's a crazy guy, man. It's a crazy guy. You good, Max? It's good to see you again, buddy. Dissonant. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for more dissonant ones. I want to go to a. I suppose we can just go here. That's it. I'm hoping to find another dissonant planet, but one with three star rating. There. I don't know if that's going to be a three star, but we'll check it out. What? Max, you got a girlfriend? Yes, Sine. You're moving up in life, Max. <laughs> nice. How long are you guys now being boyfriend and girlfriend, Max? It's <laughs> pretty cool, man.
Let's quickly check what planets I have in the system. Ah, uh, and I hope I had my capital ship here. Would have been nice. That's a bit weird, Java. <laughs> That's a bit weird, man. I mean, what kind of other girlfriend is Max gonna have? scan this planet and it's not giving me the option it keeps on wanting to scan the big one so I'm gonna have to fly straight up to it I want to scan this one holy crap there we go what we got here cloudy moon activated cadmium fecium and salt that's a moon There's the other planets. <laughs> That's crazy, Java. Android goals, yeah. Model C700. Scary thought that, Venus. Scary thought. Pretty soon, man, we'll have all kinds of android girls. Joe Rogan, on one of the Joe Rogan shows, actually, they had someone come and talk about the real life, like, dolls and this stuff. That was a very pretty interesting episode, and I went, what? What? You can get a girl like they had on Blade Runner. No weirdness. It's okay, Java. It's okay, man. You've gotten a VR? Okay, but you gotta explain that to me, Max. What does that mean? Like, a, a virtual reality headset? Does that mean you can play VR games now? Obsidian bead. Go check out this planet. Simmons detected. That's pretty cool. And how many friends have you made, Max? You made lots of friends yet? And you enjoy living there now? The new place? I remember when uh, you actually just moved it the first time. You got some friends? Four of them? Nice, man. That's pretty cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Evade, evade. Oh, should I still hit that tree? Uh, now this is what we were looking for, boys. Radiant shards. Dissonance detected. Oh, 
What is that floating around? What is that? Those floating ball-like things are alive? That's crazy, man. Listen to Benes. Ah, uh, it happens, bud. It happens, man. I had a very, very good friend once. He's still alive. He just moved to a different country. I have no idea where he is now in life anymore. We kind of lost uh, contact and stuff. He was actually a little bit older than I was years back. And... He always said, marriage and having a relationship is hard work. It's not easy. Revenge was <laughs> sports. <laughs> it, sounds, it sounds a bit weird, but I'll take it. I'll take it. And you're buying a new mic? Yes, Max. It sounds like things are going really well with you, man. I'm glad, buddy. I'm glad. I'm happy for you, Max. I hope you're enjoying it. Every moment of it. That's a bit weird. What is that thing? I mean, look at this. What in the world is this even? Java, does it bother you that I call you weird? Does it bother you? And I didn't call you weird. I said, that's a bit weird for this thing. I haven't seen this yet. This is the first time I see this, actually. That's a bit weird, too, over there. What even that is? Master Peposa. <laughs> Strange name for an animal. get some carbon here. I might have to just scan it first. Might have to scan everything on this planet quickly. I pick one of these up. They're actually quite nice. These big leaves or whatever they're called. How much carbon do we get? Not so much actually. So this is a dissonant planet. We might actually find some sentinel ships here. You just fly around a little bit and see if I can find one. Let's go back to my... To me ship. Depends on how deep it is, Venus, but if you put the pillar all the way down to the bottom, you should actually be fine. You should be able to be able to do that. Where I live on the island, I live on a glacier, and it's quite deep. So when I vault over the glacier, it tells me that I can't. But I'm, I haven't tested it yet, but I'm thinking if you actually go down, and you place foundation at the bottom with pillars or something, you'll be able to build up.
Let's see if we can find a sentinel ship. We can probably use one of those little scanners or anomalies. Yeah, once you get that stuff, the moon pools and the stuff make it so much easier, man. Then you can build anywhere. You build one moon pool, another one, you can take the one at the bottom out. This one will actually stay in the air. You can literally build yourself a base floating in the middle of the ocean. But... Might have to just wait with that a little bit. I mean, you still need to go and do the boss fights anyhow, so... What happens if I shoot it? Do I get it? The best way would actually put be to put down uh, one of the exocraft. Maybe that'll make and then do a scan and look for emergency signals. But I want to see if I can find one like this, just out of the blue. Is that for your old base or the new one, Venice? Yeah, the colors are amazing, man. I really enjoyed this game. Yes, this game is good. It's so relaxing, so peaceful. It gives me more time to actually talk to you guys than Ark does. Just slowly flow around. I don't know if I'm on the right planet though. This might not be the right planet. I haven't seen any inverted mirrors or anything yet, but we might find some. We might find some. Just scan, see if we can pick something up. But I did pick something up there. Let's land here. Radiant shorts. Those are caches. Floating crystal. What is that? A floating crystal. How you say? What is that word? Fuchsia. Is that what you're saying? Fuchsia. That thing doesn't sound too happy. What is this going to give me? Glowing mineral. I don't know what this is going to give me. Fuchsia. Color your fuchsia. <laughs> okay. I don't know if this is the right planet for what we are looking for. Let's go check out one or two of the other planets quickly. Let's 
So I set the in-game sound a little bit softer now, so you don't hear the engine of the Sentinel ship that much. How's the sound sounding now, guys? Is my voice kind of back? Specifically, the sound of my voice. Is that kind of back to the really good quality I had? It's bothering the crap out of me. I don't know what went wrong. Needs a tweak. Don't know what to do, Java. It's, I didn't do anything. That's the problem. I mean, if I broke it, then I'll know how to fix it. I didn't touch it. It just did it by itself. I don't know what to tweak. I've been tweaking. It's the weirdest thing ever, man. Okay, so here we are on this planet. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Do a scan. Look around. Occasional sandstorms. But no dissonance. If there's no dissonance, we ain't gonna get chips. Yeah, but the game's not supposed to make any difference. The game's not supposed to make any difference. Wall of Flame. <laughs> Come on, give me the scan option. I don't want to fly all the way to you. All right, let's do it. Dissonance detected. All right, let's go land there. Who wouldn't do it? Rocket Man Alley. Okay. It's not a separate mic. Not even a bit. Say Mike, man. Say Mike. They'd be dead now. Yeah. Suppose I heading to this planet. I sentinel activity. That's not the one. Yes, yes, yes. I'm not using this. No, I'm using an actual mic. It stands over there. And I use the same mic for everything, for literally everything. For when I talk in Discord, when I make movies, when I stream, everything is the same mic. So now where did that plan go now? Like this is the same planet. I Sentinel. I Sentinel. Oh, 
Come on. That one doesn't want to tell me. Let's go around this way. Check at the back. Is this the one? Was this the dissonant planet? Obsidian bead. Yeah, that's a dissonant planet. One and one. Okay, so we've been to this one and that one. I think we need to go to a different galaxy quickly. Dissonant. See, that one's also dissonant. Let's go check this one out. The weird part is, if I do a recording now, I put the recording on the Discord, you'll hear that the sound is actually really good. I don't know what's going on. It's the weirdest thing ever, man. There's definitely dissonance on the planet. I'm seeing all the little pink radiant shards. I would fly like this the whole day if I had a real ship. Just calm like this. Explore the planets. Mexico! Yesy, buddy. Are you still alive? I haven't seen you in ages. How's things going, dude? Mexico. I might come and join you in Mexico one of these days. Spring break? Oh, that sounds fun. Fast little critter, ain't you? There we go. Hold on, what is this going to give me? Inverted mirror, yes! What I want, give me that inverted mirror. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. yeah. The swarm is hunting. They will never find me. I shall go invisible like the predator. Oops. That one found me. Plan B, dig a hole! New game? Did I find E.T.? Nah, it's not a new game. Been streaming and playing this for a while, actually. Just uh, decided I feel like doing some No Man's Sky tonight. You're having Kenya coffee. Java, that is some of the best coffee in the world. I'm not shitting you, man. 
paprika coffee is some of the best coffee you will find. It comes from Kenya especially. That is really good coffee. How much did you pay for that shit though? Science echo. What does that mean? Science echo. Holy shit! Echo seed. I've never seen that before. What is that? An echo seed. That's pretty interesting. That is the first time I see that. And what you be doing in Mexico? Dark roast. How strong is it? What's the level? You're playing some games? Which games, man? Which games have you been playing? Let me go see if that one will actually give me an inverted mirror as well. Oh, there's another one. Holy crap, this planet's full of them. Ah, oh, that's crap. Grab a chino ball and then everything will be on me. What you gonna give me, buddy? Give me, give me. Echo locator. Don't want that. I want inverted mirror. You gonna give me? You gonna give me? Inverted mirror? Sweet. Which Hitman? Which Hitman have you been playing? There's another one. Science Echo. Been playing number three. I can't remember the last time I played any of the Hitman games, man. Yo. There's a couple of new ones out. I haven't even played them. The one I saw, you had to buy a subscription to play or something? And then I said, no, fuck that, that's crazy. What? Ooh, why even? Why? Why? Why would someone do that? I have to pay every month to play a game? That's crazy. Online subscription, yeah. Yeah. Is that the one you're playing? There's another inverted error over here. This might be a good planet to look for sentinel ships. Let's see if I can find my own one, Jer. They think they're Nintendo. <laughs> or Blizzard. Blizzard was actually the first one, I think, to start that crap with World of Warcraft. You had to pay every month to play. And a lot of people did it. 
I'm not gonna do that. I'll happily pay for a mod or buy a game and play it. But every month? No ways, man. How money hungry can you be? Welcome back, GoFo. I'm actually uh, locating Sentinel ships right now. So first you gotta be on a dissonant planet. This is a dissonant planet. Um, and there are def definitely better ways to find them. But I'm kind of just flying around to see if I can maybe find one. See how lucky I am. If you've got Exocraft, you've got your Minotaur. And you install the scanner. Then you build the Minotaur and you scan. And it'll tell you where crashed ships are. And that's how you find them. Or you can just do it like me. Just fly around. Yeah, you can. You can find a few on one planet. But the nice thing is, if you find, say, one on a planet or two, you can go and fix them up and sell them. And tomorrow, you can come back to exactly the same one. So you can do it every single day. And these Sentinel ships sell for a lot of money, man. You can sell them for 30, 40 million, depending on what type of ship it is and how good it is. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let's do this the right way. Let's quickly land. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a base. Actually, no, I'm not gonna set up a base. I'm gonna build my Minotaur. Climb in him. We use the scanner. Outbros. Let's see if we can find one. There are actually different ways. Scanner charging. Let's see if we can find another one. This location where I am, there isn't any. Or what we can do is we can go pick a fight. Let's do that. Let's go pick a fight with some of the dissonant stuff. And then you have to fight them. Like literally you have to fight them. Okay. All right, so now we go up. They're going to send the little sentinels after me. This might actually be easier. Let's shoot these bad boys. So now I have to fight five waves and the fifth wave is going to be a little bit of a bigger ship and if you destroy that one, it'll actually tell you where a simple ship has crashed. So let's do it that way then. Yo Tony, what's up, how you doing? How's my sound, Tony? Is it sounding a little bit better? Damn, <laughs> it's been a while since we've seen Mexico. Let's wait for the, the other ones to come.
Okay, I'm gonna see if I can tweak it a little bit more, guys. It's such a pain, though. Yes, you have to do quite a bit to get it where it was. I don't know what went wrong. Craziness. This should bring the big one now. This should bring the big one. Yeah. Sentinel capital. Let's take it down, boys. Let me just go, go into the shields. Let's turn around. That's not what I wanted to do. Where's these? Ah, uh, just move. There we go. Destroy that. Cut that down. Cut that down. Cut that down. Alrighty. Let's find the power generator of this place. Oh, hold on, let's get my shields just back up a little bit. These things are fast, holy crap. Come on, come on. That's it, got some shields back there. Getting some shields there. Alright, let's go bang this guy. Where's the other? It's on this side. I think it's on this side. Here we go. That one's down. That's it. Now we can just rake the ship. Heels down. Take that. Destroyed. Carrier fragment. Sweet. Now we scan that. And then I think that's how it works. Yo, Water, what's up, man? Is that not working? Let's see what's going on with my ship here. Something to critical damage. All seems well, though. I scan? Did I do a scan? Get it.
Did I just go cheat it? I think I just go cheat it. A right balance of troublemakers? Oh, that's balanced out every time you enter water. You're about the only troublemaker. <laughs> ah, okay, so we need to go somewhere else. Let's see, where do we need to go? There. So it'll give you that little ship, Mark. Do you see that little ship? Oh, that's the wrong planet. Went to the wrong one. So you go to that one then. So you activate that carrier beacon. And then go to the planet where that ship is marked. This is not it. <laughs> this is not it. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm not even gonna save these people. Can I just leave them to their own devices? I was on the right planet. Just the one behind it. Don't know why. Let's go in here quickly. Stop this space rescue. Insert the belly image here. <laughs> Walter, I'm gonna demote you to peasant. You're gonna get demoted. Okay, everybody happy? Can I go out now? I hope the other guys make it. I'm not gonna save them. No! Why would I want to go to Mars? Chief Hillbilly in charge. <laughs> Let's go back to where we came from. Got kind of sidetracked on that one. There's the planet. I'm pretty sure there's no internet where I'm going now either, but at least there's stuff to do on Mars. What am I going to do on Mars, boys? What are we going to do there? Okay, and then once you reach the galaxy, Gofo, it'll actually give you the little ship to tell you where to go. That's probably a really good way of doing it. Although, I don't know how well you'll do with your ship that's in its current state. So I said, give me a date and we'll do it together, man. Eat a Mars bar. Terrible. That's terrible. That's terrible. It's actually so terrible that it's kind of good. to me this on the other side of the mountain ah wait i think i saw it there it is i see it found it welcome back is it
And there it is, a sentinel ship. It's actually not a bad looking one. Hunter. All right, let's take this. Now I'm gonna probe its brain. <laughs> yes, it says probe, water. Don't get any bad or funny ideas. We're probing its brain. Now it's gonna tell me to go over there. Now I need to take the brain over there. That's the PI Hunter. Yeah, that's the one. Yo, go straight into that. My ship even went. Is that the one you want, Gopo? Yeah, you're not supposed to. You're a moderator, Water. You're not supposed to be the one that I'm worried about most of the time. I swear, I don't even sometimes know why I made you a moderator. Present the brain. The probed brain. Okay, now it's a harmonic brain. Like Harmony, but monic. You just gonna do it on your own? I don't have to tell you? Alright, I got you, man. I got you. We haven't had any trolls in a while, buddy. Okay, now I have... I do have... Uh, an inverted mirror and some of the stuff that's required. Water said, hold my beer. <laughs> yes, take this move, hold my beer. Yeah, uh, him, Andre, and Vicious together, it's a nightmare. And there, that's it. I got a B class. Then you compare it. You claim the ship. Okay. Let's climb in it. I'm gonna call it. Okay, Crimson's fine. Yeah, well, this is actually fine. That's it. And that's how you get your Sentinel ship, Gofo. Tony does a little bit different than me. He go finds the little hut that tells you where it is and stuff like that. But I found this is actually, for me, the simplest way of doing it. You're making all the trolls? <laughs> Damn it, Tony. Don't give up my secrets now. <laughs> you see, you just play with their minds a little bit. First, they were trolls, and then you make them a moderator. And then they actually start acting pretty good and support the channel and all kinds of stuff. Tony is about the only first real moderator I've ever had. Um, how do I explain this? What little hut? There's like a little outpost that you can go to. Yo, Tony, you'll be able to explain this one better than me. What's a little outpost that you can go to that you scan? And then it'll tell you where the ship has crashed as well. So if you don't want to fight them. Water said, hold my beer. Yeah, he definitely did. Every single day. 
This is an interesting little ship though, this little one. Very interesting looking little ship. What's its... Yeah. B class, could be better. We could definitely get you an S. Uh, water, she deleted all of us, all of us, and then she got Connor to come onto my stream to tell me that she's better. <laughs> I shit you not. And look at that, you can sell it for 32 million. 32 million. Let's sell it. Tony, how do you find the camp? Tell us quickly, how do you find the camp? Let me see if I can do that and show GoPro that way then. How do I find a harmonic camp? Let me sell all of the stuff that we got now. Look at my units over here. I've got 500 million and 15. I sell this now. That can go. There's another emergency scanner. I don't know what that is. Uh, let's find all of that. All that. Salvage glass can go. Starship AI valves. There we go. 24 million. Boom. Compressed indium scraps. 6 million. Regulators. Almost a million. 500. 547. Best way to make money, man. This is definitely the best way to make money. Rahul! Hey! It's the man, the myth, the legend. Rahul himself. How are you doing, Rahul? You've got 65? <laughs> nice, Kofo. But I've been playing a lot of Ark, man. I haven't been paying so much attention to this. To be honest. Echo locator. Echo locator. Maybe I got one of those. Echo locator. I know exactly what they look like. You know what? Let's put this actually this side. Oh wait, it's not gonna work. This is a sentinel. Wait, it should work. Yeah, this should work actually. Fields. This is ship engines. Nice. Is that the one you get by shooting the asteroids, Tony? Echolocator. I've got some of those, man. Where are they? Let's find an asteroid field quickly. That was easy. Missing since you got a girlfriend. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Milk carton. That's the one. <laughs> nah. We'll just call water water. Him, himself, and himself. Oh, wait, that's an anomaly detector. I wonder if that's the same thing. Will that work? Or do I have to go and find an echo locator? Yeah, Manzi means water, yeah. 
or Metsy. Not the same? Oh shit. Well, I guess we have to call in my ship then. Wait, we got a threat, boys. Let's go see if this little... I don't know if this little ship can handle this guy. I don't know if I can. This ship's not upgraded. But let's see what I can do. Ah, uh, we got this. Cool. Let's call in the big guns. Unfortunate, you have a threat. Yes, it is so sad that I enjoy shooting ships. <laughs> okay, let me just jump back into my Hannibal. I mean, named it Hannibal. Okay, Echo Locator. Echo Locator. Let me see if I've got one. Yeah, Metsi is Swana. Maya Hotsia Imetsi Go get me some water <laughs> But we'll just call water water Let's not confuse him about African stuff The last time I spoke about African stuff Water wanted to go buy cows And then trade them for a car or something I'll catch you later Rahul It's good to see you again man What's that? A normally detector That's not it we have over here echo locator this one yeah we got one here i take it i think i did okay nice we got an echo locator Oh, Azema, you missed that entire conversation. You missed that entire conversation. Let me just go back up the ship. I just want to see something quickly. Yeah, we got a thing here in, in Africa called Labola. Where... You pay cows, actual cows, if you want to marry someone. So if you're a family, if you're a father and you have a daughter as a baby, you become rich because some guy is actually going to come and pay you to marry your daughter. And then if he doesn't like her or she doesn't do what she's supposed to be doing, he'll send her back. <laughs> To her family to teach her how to become a wife yeah to her aunts and uncles interesting interesting here we just marry cows <laughs> shots fire that's rough dirty Yeah, so the families would come together, and then they'll discuss how many cows they want. And then there'll be a festival, it's like a massive thing. Big, big festival and all kinds of stuff. They take that shit pretty seriously, I'm not even kidding guys. I've been to a few of them, take it really seriously. Michael, what you doing man? How's this going? Now I just need to find that dissonant... Can I actually scan it in space, Tony? Can I span it in space or do I have to be on the planet? No, so so what happens is you have, I think, you can send her back three times. Like if there's something you're not happy with, you send her back, then her aunts take her in and she spends a couple of weeks, maybe a month or two with her aunts. And they teach her how to cook and clean and do all kinds of stuff, whatever it is you complained about, whatever it is. 
and then they send it back to you. And the third time you send her back, they'll give some of the cows back. But then that's a massive disgrace for the family. Massive disgrace for the family. Because they can never ask. Let's say they charge 100 cows for her. They can never do that again. Because her value has now been broken. Very interesting how that works. Very interesting how it works. Yeah, how to be a good wife, yeah. Squirrels! Hey! Thank you so much, Squirrel. I appreciate that, man. Thanks, bud. Sneaking in here, not even hello, just going... I need to see if I can hold on squirrel. Let me see if I can do this. Give me a second here. Is it a new month? Hopefully, can I do this? Ah, uh, I can't. I wanted to actually give you membership, but I can't. We're gonna have to wait a little bit. Yeah, so if you are like very awesome and you've got like a lot of main that kind of wants you, Azima. They can ask a lot of cows. <laughs> I'm not kidding. And cows are wealth. That's how they count it. Cows are wealth. Because their food, their milk, their hide. One cow can provide family food for months. I wonder if I can do this in the in the air. Can we do this in the air? Yeah, we can actually. Our harmonic echo detected. There we go. So with the echo locator, you can actually scan it in space and it'll show you where to go. That's pretty cool. It's actually very cool, guys. I'd like to... May I'll see if I can find a nice video on it or maybe I'll go and see if I can record one i don't know if they'll allow me to do that but the families come together then the men go and sit outside and they start they've got like these custom made jugs out of pot and clay and then they start drinking beer and then the uncles start discussing you know how this is gonna work what they want it's very very cool tradition actually very cool tradition i think the way they do it is actually quite cool very cool And then if you're a Zulu, you can have quite a few wives as well. I mean, I know some of the Zulu guys that I'm friends with. One of them has got 11 wives. 11. So this is a harmonic camp, Gopo. This is what a harmonic camp looks like. Now you need a certain item in your multi-tool. Uh, this. When you scan it, it'll actually show you the people. But you don't need to see the people to use the scanners or anything. <gasps> oh, it's got one of the cool multi-tools. Oh man, this is this is the best multi-tool in the game. I don't know if it's the one with the four slots or not, but it could be. I'm gonna put down I'm gonna put down a base computer here. Let's put down a base computer here. Let's put it down here. Swazis? Yeah. Nah, just leave her alone, water. Don't be like that. Just leave it, man. Same base. Yeah, but I don't want to. I'll leave this one for Gopo, Tony. When Gopo comes, I'll give it to him. Thing is... Let me show you why. What did he have it? Firstly, there it is. I got one. That's the one. And what I also have is I've got that staff. I got that very rare one. That little gun, that one, and then that dissonance staff. 
So I already have five multi tools. I'm gonna just leave that one. Zema, but there's a catch to it. There's a catch to it. If you've got 10 wives, what you do for the one wife, you must do for the other ones. There can be no discrimination. So if you buy a car for the one wife, all 10 of them needs to get a car. Same car. You buy one shoes, you need to get 10 pairs of shoes. They need to get exactly the same. So this is the interface. Uh, but I don't want to do this now. I don't want to get that. Where? Did I mess this up now? Did they get nothing? Yeah, that's why you gotta be rich if you wanna if you wanna look after your wives. You can have many of them, and they can't complain about each other. Uh uh And you can sleep with all of them at once, or this one that night, that one the other night, but you have to be fair to all of them. All of them. You have to love all of them, and if they have children, you can also not... You can also not um, put some children in front of the other. You can't. Yeah, they all have to be equal. Equal, 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 equal. You're gonna go get your coward back. <laughs> okay, so Tony, I think I might have messed this up. Do I have to do the scanner game thing? Let me see. I don't want the multi tool. Let's see. So that's eight, 13, and three. Eight, thirteen, and three. So this one will put glyph eight. This one will put glyph. Where's thirteen? Thirteen. This one will put three. And then go for you. You can now. I can actually deactivate the multi tool seal and we can get that multi tool. Or I can say locate dissonance spike. Let's go for dissonance spike. And it's going to tell me where the next ship is. Catch you later, water. Hello. Have a good one, bud. This could have been a really good one, though. You can't take it. There's a seal on it. You can't have it. You have to take the seal off. Let's go, Hannibal. How far is that? Arrive in. It's counting down pretty fast. If it slows down, I'm gonna go up. Yeah, it's slowing down. Let's go up. <gasps> Hold on, boys. Oh shit! I need to go back. Uh, crap. I didn't give the name. I didn't give my base a name. We need to go name it. stop let me just land here gofo you can do this i think if you go for the same ship it takes a while to come back though i would say six hours to maybe every day 
haven't really I haven't really timed it. You want to say go for Then I know why this base is here. And in fact I'm actually gonna put down a little let's put down a little landing pad so we don't lose fuel when we land here. Then you are more than welcome to come and use this. What do I need? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. That's it. Nice landing pad right there. Yeah, you can do different ones a lot, but the same one, like I said, the same one. I don't know. We haven't really tested that. Yeah, me too, Azema. Me too. I kind of love it. It's so interesting to see how different people do it from different places and stuff. It's really, really cool. And there's a and, and funny enough, there's so many different cultures here in Africa. Like the Maasai will be very different than the Zulu or the Pedi or the Tswana or Ozas or anything like that. If it's the same one. It's the same one! <laughs> it's the one I found. It's the one I found. I shit you not. It's the one I found. <laughs> Atlas? Oh, it's not! Oh, it's not! Hey! It looked like it was the same one. Okay. I thought it was. Turns out it's not. I thought it was. Yes, it looked like the same place, same location, same color, everything. Yeah, I just thought the, old, the location, I thought it was the same one. The other one was an exactly very similar spot. Like it had the mountain behind it, those big plants, these red ones. I suppose it might look the same. Yo, I feel like it could be. Even this thing was same distance away. Unless I found one that's very close to the other one. Okay, let's present the brain. Brains, brains been presented. Let's go back to that one. What? What did I just see? Ah, I thought I saw something. Casually strolling through here. What is that? 
Ah, interesting. Very interesting. Yo, there's a lot of stuff around here. Yeah, it's part of claiming the ship. Like Tony said, it changes the brain. When you get the brain, it's a dissonant brain. So it's going to reject you as a human pilot. Then you take the brain to that altar thing and it makes it a harmonic brain which means it'll accept you see pilot interface the sentinel vessel has its own mind its own way of being it rejects the control of outside entity now we're putting in the other one oops and it accepts ah oh, and this is a c class okay that sucks but i mean we can still go salad Yeah, this was a C, but you still get a pretty penny for it. Oh, please don't find anything now. Thank greatness. Hmm. So I carried on with the gigas last night, Tony. After you went to bed, I found a level 60, then I killed it, then I found another level 60, then it spawned a level 70, and then I killed it, and it spawned a level 70, and then eventually I went to bed. And then this morning I went up, and guess what? Level 70. It's not going to go over 75. Yeah, it did. Yeah, so it went from the fives to the sixties and then the seventies, and I kind of stopped. It's taking <laughs> quite a bit of time, actually. OPX one, love and good vibes. Welcome to the stream, man. Where are you from? Yeah, it's probably spawning them at 50%. That's what I'm thinking too. I did go to the guys and I said to him, listen, this is what we found. So I did tell them. Hopefully they'll fix it. Okay, now let's go sell. Traps. To this guy. No. I didn't see a high level croc. The highest was 110. Offer to trade. Now, just go all the way down. So, pool of cables, regulators, this one, this one. This one, this one, this one, that one, that one, I think that's it. I was about to say, I am not reading that right. You learned that your Pterodon could kill a level 130 car car? What kind of Pterodon is that? <laughs> I thought it was a bad idea. <laughs> and tell us. Why 
Why is it keeping on giving me this ship though? This is not the one I want. You both died. Car cars do a lot of damage, man. <laughs> they do a lot of damage. Hi, you're from the United States, OBX? Oh, sweet, man. Do you play No Man's Sky a lot? Do you enjoy the game? Excited about the new expedition like we are? We are actually avid ARK players, ARK Survival Evolved players, but I do enjoy No Man's Sky as well. Love it. Really good game. So now I can actually just travel to your bases. Where's Kofo? I've named it Kofo. There we go. Uh, you can. They are actually really nice for land travel. Venice, I would say if you want a land diner to start out with, look at the Giganto Raptor. That's actually a pretty good land dino. That thing is fast. It's got enough stamina and it's got a powerful kick, man. Not even kidding. I love it. That is so cool. No, Hannibal. 40 hours into it at the moment. You're hooked? Yeah. So, here's how I got hooked on the game. I did a, a playthrough of survival games. I mean, I did Valheim. I did Icarus. We've been playing Ark. There was Palworld involved in Shrouded. And I did, and I was supposed to make a video on each one and say how I found them. And the very last one, the very last one, No Man's Sky. And I started playing this game, and I just didn't put it down. And here we are. You like the color? It's a very cool color. I like it as well. Very cool color. Very nice. They should actually bring out like a space station where you can take your ship in and customize it a bit. That would be super cool. I would love to see that. Locate dissonance spikes. Now I wonder if it's going to take me to the same one. Probably not. Okay, let's see. I have one more inverted mirror and I've got... Do I actually have the pink stuff? No, we're all out. I might have to go get new ones. You've got about 18k hours? <laughs> I mean, I thought having 10... Thousand hours is a lot. 18k? <laughs> you some dude. That is officially the most I've ever heard. Yeah, we've got a I've got a server. And at the moment we've got the island and Fort Lar on. And obviously in three or four days we'll put on Scorch Earth. So that's gonna be cool. You'd be in that shop every day? Yeah, Tony, I'd be in that shop every day too, but for different reasons, not for paint. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit paint, maybe a little bit paint. I mean, we gotta look cool as well. If they could do like weapon systems and stuff, that would be awesome. But then that would probably break the current one they have. 
Yeah, this is a different one. We've not been to this one. This is a different one. You are officially OBX. That's the most hours I've ever heard of. To someone I I am actually speaking to. Ooh. What we got here? Let's see. Could this be an S? It looks slightly different, does it? The top part looks a little bit different. Yeah, I also love survival games, man. What? Oh, it says it's an A. I didn't even see that. So we got an A? Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, now we need to scan and I need to find this what I don't have is radiant shore. I don't have the radiant shorts there. What's that? A radiant short, is it? That's a radiant short. some more it's some more and it's some more if you run into a rex and you're on top of a giga yeah you'll definitely be fine i mean that giga will chow that rex quickly venice quickly gigas are very powerful man so with the Karchas, very powerful. They're just a bit more nimble. Phosphorus, damage machinery. So where would the next Radiant Shard be? If we can see one. Don't see one? Um... You can, I would say, first get yourself a decent land mount. That's what I would do. Yeah, they are, they are the apex predators of our, the Gigas and the Karchas. You got No Man's Sky four days ago? Yes, he dude. This game's gonna blow your mind. This game's gonna blow your mind, man. It's awesome. It's a pity you can't do the Omega Expedition. Let me see, because I need... I need more of this, actually. Where are all my... Oh, wait, I've got lots. What am I talking about? I've got lots. Scan this brain. Me. There might be a new one coming. There might be a new expedition in the next couple of days. I'm not sure how long. Uh, they did put out a tweet that there's an update, and I'm gonna guess it's an expedition. So let's say maybe next week or so we'll have another expedition, which is kind of cool. That's the emoji hype. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the emoji hype.
That's the emoji I... Status docile. All right, let's go see what this A one is. For this one, I'll probably get close to 40. Yo, look how close I was. Wow. Why did I have to go to that one if that was so far? I did the same thing, man. I did the same thing. I did so many side quest submissions. But to me as well. We've been doing a lot of those. At the end, I went and I actually focused a bit and did the main mission. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. That is true, Tony. Yeah, that is true. So, to give you an idea, Venus, if you tame a Giga, you'll probably get 18 to 19,000 HP. And then when you breed it, depending on how many points it's got, it's probably going to be about 31,000 HP, a bred one, one that you imprinted on. In the wild, a Giga will have 80,000 HP. 80,000. They are incredibly strong, man. You get them in the wild, oof. Problems. And they apply bleeding damage. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, that's going to be the least of your worries. That's going to be the least of your worries. The fact that that thing can bite for three, four, five hundred damage is incredible. Very strong. Yeah, I would say go get a Giganto Raptor. That's, that's a pretty good land mount. On Fort Lar, there isn't um, Thylas yet. They'll have the Thylas come out sometime soon. So that's probably a good mount or get an RG just flying around with an RG is also a very good way to start out off yo 39 39 man that was pretty close to 40 that's it so we scrapped three ships and I'm going to have almost 600 million. Uh, yeah, 600. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost 600. He knocked you off the PT? The Karcha. I wonder if he actually killed the PT and you just got dismounted. Because it was the 130 that you ran into. That could be insta PT death. Insta PT death. Still have eleven radiant shorts, that's pretty cool. And I think that's kind of it. Is that it? Yes, yeah, you're getting some nice blueprints as well here. Yeah. Actually, for my capital ship.
Yo, ik heb het laatste carbon. Ik heb niet ever van carbon again. Let's see if they've got chromatic metal. I'm running slightly out of chromatic metal. Oh, I missed. Autonomous positioning unit. That's kind of interesting. Welding soap. These are some weird things I've never seen before. Rusted metal. Would have made a great Bob episode. <laughs> yeah, I still need to make the next Bob episode. But start out with an RG. Go get an RG. An RG is gonna make your life so much better. Why? What you got? Do you have chromatic metal for me, buddy? Oops. How's my settlers doing? Okay, let's go back to my settlers quickly for a moment. Alrighty, here's the settlement. Let's see what's happening here. What you guys doing? A citizen request. A glorious expedition. Adventurous minded citizens have proposed an expedition. They wish to survey the planet for valuable resources. They hope their charge will form the basis for many future expeditions, each of which will bring glory and riches to the settlement. The last time I said yes, they died. Deny request. Denied. We take the cup. Take the couplers. Seem pretty good. Productivity is definitely up. Maintenance is down. I'm struggling with this a little bit though. But they keep on dying on me, so. What can I do? What can I do? Let me just go grab my other ship again. Hello, Leviathan. Hello, hello. How are you doing, man? Good to see you again. <laughs> I see you were playing a little bit of Modern Warfare earlier. How's your gold bombing going? Oh, check out my ship, Tony. I'm going to show you what I did with the ship. I started uh, working on the interior a little bit. You only got one hour sleep? Jeez, dude. Is that Modern Warfare's fault? So, over here, I put a little bar. Remember this big open space? So here I got a little bar now. And I got like a little cozy pad over here. You can come sit down and do some stuff. And some sleeping quarters. Or med bay, I'm not sure. Yeah. Started putting down some flags. I think it's starting to look pretty cool. And then this obviously still kind of looks the same. 
still have the gazebos and the stuff out here. Put down some chairs here if you want to sit and have a coffee and look at the view. Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Some fancy interior decorator. I'm expanding my skills from solos, escort services to interior decorating. <laughs> Uh, full moon's fault been shining on your face while you're sleeping all right we go save quickly That is so cool. Save point, save. Yeah, and then the rest is still kind of the same. Still kind of the same. My refiners are still not refining. Useless. Useless. But that's okay. I think I've been teleporting the ship too much. Alrighty boys, I'm gonna hop into my ship just to make sure I've got the right ship. Uh, and then I'm gonna take a bit of a break, grab something to eat quickly, and then I'll see you guys in an hour or so on Ark. Let me see what we can do there on the Fordlar. That's it OBS. If you've got Discord, check in the description. I've got a link to Discord. It'd be nice if you join us. Leviathan, it's good to see you again, man. Tony, Venice, everybody else has been watching. I'll catch you guys a little bit later in ARC. Have a good one. Cheers, boys.